if the man had done anything that other members of the Nigerian class, to which is an eminently qualified member, whether it is by reason of his economic capacity or by reason of his political affiliations, is eminently qualified. They are all, if he had done anything against the laws of Nigeria, I am sure that the gentlemen at EFCC and um, ICPC and what have you, Fifi, we have so, we have multiplicities of political and uh, no, let me say prosecutorial agencies that would have ensured that he would not have dared to be making a presidential run because I'm sure you will not suggest that he's a candidate of the system. When you had uh, Mr. Rochas Okorocha, who was a candidate within the capacity of the system to muzzle, and they had sufficient basis to muzzle him, they didn't pull back to muzzle him. So I assure you that if Mr. Peter Obi had broken any laws, I'm not, we're not, because the only, you can begin to deal with issues of morality if you believe there is a moral question there. But when it comes to the issue of legality, I doubt that anyone can speak to the legality of what he has done. Because if he had broken any laws, I assure you that the, the bail conditions that would have been slammed against him by the time the charges are brought would have been worse than the ones that you have ever seen brought against any terrorist. That he hasn't been charged or had any issues raised related to that should speak volume to you about the legality of the thing. I don't have that kind of money, so I don't need any Pandora. I don't need to go and hide money anywhere. I don't have an account outside of Nigeria. So if it's me, you can ask me. My Toroko boy is here in Nigeria. So. No, no, but, but, but as, as, uh, as I don't know what your role entails, 